Hey, this is Yakin with Nick, and I am Nick Hazleton. I wanted to pop in here real quick and say uh, that the audio levels are pretty inconsistent, and they're mostly pretty quiet. So you're going to have to turn your headphones up and down, your, I mean, your volume up and down a little bit. Um, hopefully not too much, and hopefully it isn't too much of a pain. I tried to do some editing to make this better, but I don't, I don't know what else to do um, than what I did. I brought up the levels uh, a bit. And um, hopefully it's pretty leveled out. Um, anyway, I think you guys will enjoy this episode, and uh, I'm, I'll just let us jump right in. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, we yeah, you jumping straight in. I'm not going to edit this. Um, this is Yakin with Nick. I'm here with Glide Divine, <laughs> and I accidentally started the show earlier. And I asked him a couple questions, and I forgot to press my uh, record button twice because you have to do that on these H4N pros. But hey, um, I have Logan, Damon, and Evan. Correct. You guys aren't really going to know who's who unless you... I I'm Damon. I'm Logan. I am Evan. Memorize They're lying. <laughs> what if I'm Damon? I'm actually Evan. <laughs> this is Logan here, right here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so we just, I just, we just got done with the can jam that Nash and Andy put on. We'll talk to them next episode. But... Um, you guys got to play afterwards, and I was I was really impressed. I thought it was pretty, it was pretty good music. And well, I, uh, thank I you, it. kind sir. We yeah. appreciate it. I like uh, I like the vibe. It, it seemed yeah psychedelic to me. I don't know why exactly. I'm not a music critic. I can't really tell you where your roots are from. It's like, all open to interpretation with us. It's in the feels, man. Mm-hmm. Sweet, sweet. And you guys are wearing headbands. That's the yeah. best part. <laughs> it, was, it was my idea. <laughs> so, uh, I, I wear them every that? day. We're just, <laughs> oh, yeah, just wearing hippies. It. Yeah, Sweet, we, just, we just carry on. I call myself like a anti hippie. I'm like the anti hero, like Batman, except mm-hmm. anti hippie. So you just gotta keep living, man. Yep. <laughs> Don't die. Dying is not good for you. Yeah, yeah. So you guys are, or maybe it is. I don't know. It could be. Well, it could be releasing. It might be. Yeah. It might be calming for someone. Yeah, I don't. We're not really encouraging this. I'm not. This is not a message for Call the Suicide Nick. Prevention Hotline if you're failing suicidal. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> I was talking about whenever you're like 90 something and you've lived a good life. And yeah, you, sometimes it's time to see all the magic little happenings. Yeah. Indeed. Then you'll yeah. peacefully go. That's the best way. <laughs> Unless you're a fighter. You hold on to that <laughs> shit, man. Live till 104. Yeah. As Max Cavalera said, I'd rather die on my feet than they kept living on my knees. Yeah, no, that that's Fantastic whenever words. that's whenever your relatives start getting sick of them. When they stick around too long. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's a vicious cycle, man. It's, Cycles, man. Yeah, man. So you guys are uh, I like I like having young musicians. I've had Nash on before. Um <clears throat> I'm really impressed with people who are doing music at a young age and just you know plan for people i think that's pretty cool what what got you guys Logan, interest in we got, i should have i should we could have that could have been avoided mm. could have gone somewhere else i put it in a pretty busy, busy place i'm sorry guys let's no, just move past right. it um it's cool <laughs> um so why yeah what got you guys interested in playing music for people um well i've always been interested in music uh i started writing music when i was really young and then didn't pick up the guitar until i was like 12 or 13 and I taught myself and then after I moved here I met Evan freshman year of high school and we just started playing music together and it was like a a weird mixture because at the time I was really into Pink Floyd Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and basically everything like basically nothing but Pink Floyd nothing but Pink Floyd and Nirvana it was quite a fun time yeah and then Evan was only into death metal (laughs) <laughs> well, uh, death metal, hardcore punk, you know, thrash metal. Um, I was quite a stubborn little long-haired kid. Yeah. Sounds like me. Not anymore. <laughs> and then we found, like, a common interest in shoegaze music and other interesting little uh, psychedelic bands. Um, Spaceman 3. <laughs> uh, this guy is really into spiritualized. Um, and then I have, uh, like, a lot of uh, Joy Division, Interpol, um I could Smiths. Also, Smiths. I could credit Earth and Death Heaven, and I, I, I could just slow say, dive. Slow, slow dive, dive definitely. Um, I just if it if it has a good melody, then I'll be into it. Cool. I don't know any of those. I didn't recognize. My that. favorite thing is jazz. I aspire to be Afro Latin bongo playing in the future, but Art Blakey is like my role model. 
but really like with shoegaze and like psychedelic tree it's all about following what you feel inside which is kind of how i live my life and how everyone should really live their lives man good man it should be like follow what you are and what makes your passion you and you your passion it's like maybe it's, it's not like so much what your, your passion own is cycle what if my passion is passion fruit? Well, maybe it's not so much of what your passion well, is. Well, if but your passion is your passion, you, then you're passionate. It's how you you portray your passion <laughs> rather than what your passion is. See, but that's the thing. You just it's remain you true to your passion. Yeah, man. exactly. So However, I'll, if your passion is killing people, I'd suggest uh, I'd suggest a rearrangement of uh, life choices. <laughs> yeah, this is great. These guys are just rocking back and forth, spitting <laughs> yeah, we, I truth. I Wisdom. I, I don't I know which it. one is the uh, central uh, central uh, engine here. I'm not sure if it's you, Dan. I'm not sure if it's you. Can, sure can join. Yeah, I am the meter of the band. <laughs> I set things rocking a certain tempo because I feel like it. Sometimes we go up tempo. Sometimes sometimes we, go, we go fast. It definitely. <laughs> sometimes we go slow. It all depends on the mood. Sure. So, what did you guys write all of the music that uh, you played? Today? Every song, yeah. every song. Sweet. I just get up there and drum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, be, like, what? Who did anybody like encourage you to start playing music, or you just guys just did it on your own? Um, well, for me at least, I've been interested in music and playing music all my life. Um, I'd say my beginnings were when I was uh, three years old. Um, I. My dad would have these live uh, Thomas Dolby CDs. He was a new wave artist in uh, mm -hmm. the 80s. Um, there was this live uh, DVD that he would have and a DVD of all these music videos, and I would just love what I was hearing. So three-year-old me <laughs> asked for a vacuum tube for a microphone, put in our uh, armchair, and uh, my mom got me these... Uh, fake glasses that I would put on to mimic <laughs> Thomas Bowlby. He wore circular glasses, and so I wanted to do that too. And so every song that came up, I would remember all the words and sing them, and it was adorable. And I now I'm with John Lennon, man. Oh, I right. did too. Nice. <laughs> and then I got into uh, got into more stuff. 2011 was my uh, uh, coming downfall. out year, well, or downfall <laughs> of, uh, of my musical abilities and uh, interests. Um, I got really obsessed with Van Halen. Yes. Thought it was the best stuff in the world. And then I thought Metallica was the best stuff in the world. Uh, soon after I heard Ride the Lightning, I thought, uh, for, especially for 1984, that nothing was heavier or faster. Of course, I learned that I was very, very wrong, and I appreciate that. If you like hard <laughs> metal and you like polyrhythms, listen to Animals as Leaders. They're amazing. Sugar is also pretty good. Yeah. Very technical but stuff. What got so me got started Spaceman in three. music? Spaceman 3, yeah. Yes. What, what got me into music, really like playing music, was was my first album of Queen. It really wanted to, it made me want to like, like be able to do that same thing, like invoke that same kind of feeling in people that I got from it. And so the first song that I ever learned was Sweet Home Alabama. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I was like, maybe like eight years old. Sure. What about you, Logan? Um, what about me? Look, when, when did you? Was there anybody that kind of pushed you to start? Um, well, or when did you start to? Um, I think we yeah, we went over that. Yeah, when my dad. So I lived with my dad, like half the time from when I was three till I was like eleven, and he played guitar and he was into music, but he never really got out there and like played live. Mm -hmm. He mostly just you know played with his friends and stuff. But I never actually tried playing the guitar until after I wasn't going to his house anymore. Mm -hmm. I started playing when I got a month-long break from school, sure. <laughs> and I found an acoustic guitar in my basement, and so I just decided to teach myself. Sweet. We're probably uh, doing <clears throat> a very uh, weird job with the audio here. Oh, um, yeah. Going yeah, <laughs> everybody's thinking, what's going on? <laughs> it's because well, we're swaying. We're swaying with As the beat, one. man, with the beat in our heads. We're, we're just vibing with the vibe. Of vibes. <laughs> this is perfect. Um, we just gotta go with we're it. We're going in circles now. <laughs> yeah. Why are we going? Vibe? Why are we quite, quite literally, actually. Why are we I'm going left circle? Speaking metaphorically. Let's go right circle. Go right oh, circle. Oh, whoa. <laughs> A little bit of change of pace. <laughs> Next question. <please. laughs> yeah, sure. So, um, what, what kind of fuels you to write your music? What inspires you? Um, life. 
lots of things. Uh, the spirits of the animals who went into my drum set, <laughs> and and the spirit of the maker of that drum set too. Those God get passed on. I I believe yes, God, but I believe me as God of my own self inspires my own being into musical happiness because attitude of environment <laughs> bless <laughs> <laughs> see we're ma- we're making uh, we're making nash c- cry this is this, this is, getting, is beautiful this is into some deep it's crap wow right i'm sh- <laughs> i feel like that's that's where a lot of what we write comes from we're both very all of us all three of us are very trippy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go! <laughs> Do you guys mind if I ask? Just don't say no. I can't. It's hard to say. Do you mind if I ask? Because then I'm already asking. Go. Do you guys, um. <laughs> <laughs> um. Other than getting kind of inspired by like the psychedelic rock and like pink floyd do you guys have any other like i guess influences i guess you've spouted a bunch spaceman three definitely but i don't Same recognize Art any Lakey of these and the jazz messengers joy division but buddy rich i think most heavily spaceman three because they they're very drony sort of the same way that we are except we we add in some of our own influences like like interpol with the mm-hmm. way that it changes mm-hmm. and like our i guess spiritualized for my writing like for my songwriting because aside from one of the songs i wrote all of the one all the words and spiritualized really influenced a lot of that style of writing and slow dive too slow dive is really good okay all right um i know i had another question i forgot what it was um me too don't um. forget your questions, man. <laughs> That's why I'm supposed to <coughs> doesn't look good. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> when, I guess, well, uh, let me let me think about it. People are used to this. This think, is what happens think, on Yakima. Think, think, think. Um, What's your favorite color? Sure, yeah, favorite color. Green. Green is the color. Black. Black goes good with anything. It's blue because it has an ability to be calm, soft, and strong. I think green represents anything natural. Black is black. <laughs> black is not. Black is everything, dude. Black, black is all of the Because white colors. is not black, so therefore. White is an absence of color. <laughs> but yeah. black's the opposite of white. So, so is so black an obs- absence? Of co- it's a, it's no, all the colors. White, right? Yeah, right. white's the okay. absence of color. Black is everything. Okay. Everything is everything, man. <laughs> this, is, this is too much to handle um when you guys are what do you yeah how do you guys come up with more ideas to write do you guys get together and write do you come we up with your own things and we think <laughs> to ourselves and it just comes to us yeah a, a lot of it's totally improv most of the stuff that we do we're just jamming and we're like oh that sounded cool what was that and then yeah. we experiment with it. Yeah. Sometimes we'll have a riff that we uh, that we composed in our bedrooms by ourselves, and we'll just take that to the uh, to the rehearsal and uh, bring it out, and all of us will build on top of it. And sometimes someone might have a suggestion to uh, to spice it up, and uh, about ninety five percent of the ho- the time, that's that's how we do things. So. Okay. Yeah, and hopefully here soon. You'll be able to hear me on a hand drum, because that's my main instrument. Oh, that'd be cool. For some recordings, you could uh, overdub some uh, <coughs> some bongos. Dude, I have some recordings of our jams before. You do? You have like, recordings? Like with Tommy and John. Oh, oh, I do too. Dude, I have a bunch. Yeah, I got, me like, too. Like my dad's on like drum set and shit, but like I've got like sticks in my hand, and I've got three different hand drums that I'm like... Isn't that the one where sweet. we brought Jonah and Kieran too? Yeah, Kieran, yeah, but was Kieran already didn't. Oh my Kieran god! Was what about like the one where he was playing shit? Dude. He was, and then he, he was playing that one. one trumpet. Dude, that, that was, was so cool. Sick. I got all the recordings on my. Yeah, uh, I my do voice too. Dude, I have all the recordings too. Dude. There were some that I was like, "Did we really just fucking make that up just then?" 
<laughs> so where do you guys go? Where's the rehearsals happen? Where are they house? house? <laughs> Mostly, it's, he can transport his yeah. drum stuff everywhere along oh. with him. So this yeah. to today a, was just a bad day for me with the drum set. Sure. Yeah, because like I had sh- other shit going on in my Periscope. Wow. But thank yeah. the Lord for uh, what's her face, music teacher. Yes. I don't yes. Know. You don't know. Don't know. I don't go Castle. here. Fair Mr. Enough. Mr. Castle. Was her? Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank. Credits Thank for you. the drumming. Thank you, Mr. Castle. Thanks, we appreciate it. If you hear this, <coughs> props to you. Encore. So Encore. 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 <laughs> um, okay, we're, you guys got to go soon. Um, I don't want to keep you too long. So let us know where we can find you. Where can we hear Gliding Divine? Is that Glide, we should, we should Glide start, Divine? We should start like a website. Well, um, he's got Distro Kid. We could like... We'll probably take the recordings that we have from today and master them and master them and then put them on Bandcamp and iTunes and all those kind of things. If you have Spotify, you could just stream it from there. Yeah. So okay. Evan and I both have our own solo stuff too. I have mine on Bandcamp under 60 houses and then Evan's got nothing world. It's a ambient project, very long droning soundscape ambient pieces. If you like stuff that's longer than 10 minutes up to almost an hour, mm-hmm. <clears throat> stuff for you i'm and then, personally working on some stuff like a bunch of like hand drum collages where i like overlay a bunch of recordings of myself playing and it's really cool it's gonna be like a major like african jam pretty much the stuff that i have on Bandcamp under 60 houses is like is like if you mixed sid barrett with like modern folk almost because mm-hmm. it's very folky but it's also really psychedelic okay for cool. my soul stuff um I uh, do a lot of uh, random improv instrumentations of melodies that just sound really good, really ambient. I'll usually uh, drench them in reverb and delay. Sometimes it'll be guitar, other times it'll be piano, and other times it'll just be just random recordings that um, I have stored up. And when I put them in, it's like a, just a sonic painting. Ooh. <laughs> well, awesome, guys. I really appreciate it. I really enjoyed listening to you guys' music there when I got Thank it. You. Appreciate it. And uh, glad I'll definitely... Think, glad you think we didn't suck. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll be, uh, I'll be keeping track of you guys, and I'll, I'll make sure I get in contact and, and grab uh, all the links and definitely. put them in the show notes and cool. check them out. Yeah. Glide I Divine. It. Logan, Evan, Evan, and Damon. Rock on, maybe. <laughs> <laughs>